and breathe in the dirt. Breathe out the bad. Breathe in the happy. And breathe out the sad. Breathe in your bed. And breathe out the wood. And breathe in your power. So I do we my 21 straight digits, but power everyone. Go. Hey everybody, welcome to activity unit two. This is gonna be all about stabilization and balance. Our first exercise is gonna be the flag bearer. This is gonna be using a resistance bar. So this is a weighted bar. We're gonna be reaching up into the sky as high as we can and trying to keep this vertical if we can. And then when we bring it back close to our body, we'll switch hands and then reach back up. So Nick's going to go for 20 of the flag bear. He's going to go 10 with the traditional reach. So he's going reaching up overhead, bringing it back in, switching out hand positions, and then reaching up high to the sky. So good job. He's already working on number three. And you can see this is what we want to focus on. So the hand exchange, we want to hold it down low, and then we want to try to reach up high with the tip pointing straight up. There you go, nice job, and then bringing it back down. So again, Nick's gonna go for a hand exchange, reaching up, and you can see how that resistance bar wants to move around, so Nick's gonna to have to stabilize through his wrist, his elbow, his shoulder. Again, reaching up for five, bringing it down, switching hands, Whoa. reaching up for six, bring it in, bring it close to your body. There you go. Remember, the closer something is to our body, that more it can be. The stronger, absolutely. There's seven. He's got a couple more here to go, going up for eight. So again, some of the ways you can look at this is how high up are we able to reach? We're looking at the angle of the resistance bar. There's 10, he's gonna do a few more, and, and he's gonna reach in some different directions. So you can do this with the flag bear, where you can reach out and then reach up, or you can reach down and then reach up. But we always wanna work on that hand exchange. That's an important part to this exercise in trying to keep that, that resistance bar as straight up as we can. That's good, there you go. That's gonna create the biggest challenge for the wrist, the elbow, the shoulder, and the core. And we wanna stabilize that bar. We wanna keep it from moving around on us. Nick's doing a great job. Go ahead and do about five more. So you can see, exchanging hands. He's got the left hand. He's switching back over to the right hand, reaching up. And you can see how that bar kinda of went sideways. So it shows you that not every one is gonna be a perfect rep. We're gonna to have to focus on our stabilization. We're gonna to have to really concentrate. And let's try to reach up as high as we can. Let's go for one more with the right arm, trying to keep it really solid and straight, reaching up as high as you can. Oh, I got a little sideways. There you go, keep bringing it back. Nice job. And did you feel what you had to do there? Yeah. That's what Turn we're going my for. Hand. Turning the hand, working the arm, getting that bar to be stabilized. Uh, again, that is the flag bearer, and you can do this one. 10, 20 reps of that, uh, a great exercise, and that one can even end up as a teamwork exercise where you might be bringing it in and then even handing off, which is our next exercise, the bar handoff. So with this one, me and Nick are gonna stand just a few feet away from each other. You can see here, he's gotta reach out. I'm gonna accept the bar from him. He's then gonna let go. I'm gonna bring it in, switch hands, and then I'm gonna reach out and pass it over to Nick. He's going to accept that, switch hands, and then reach back over. So with this bar handoff, again, we're looking at the wrist, we're looking at the elbow and the shoulder, the core, everything, getting integrated in to try to keep this bar steady. And when you reach out, this bar is going to want to fall down. So when you reach out, you really got to focus on keeping things straight, keeping things out to where your partner can actually reach the bar get it and then Nick's doing a great job. He's not letting go until he knows I have control over the bar. Let's go for five more of these. So there we go. So we're kind of switching sides here. Great job. Nick's got a good hand exchange there. Nice. Bringing it in, bringing it out. Good job. Bringing it in. There you go. And then bringing it out. Excellent. I like how Nick switched sides on the, on the stick there. You can do that as well. Bringing it in. Bringing it out, we have two more to go. Nice, so there's the, the baton handoff. And you can see the difference with two arms. It's not too difficult, but with one arm, 
it can be very difficult. Let's go for one more of these. And there's two arms, no problem at all. Let's go with one more with a one arm handoff. And so there's one arm, Nick's gonna switch hands. Let's go with a one arm handoff there. Hold it steady, hold it steady, and I got it. So that's another way you can kind of make this one fun. You can delay the exchange. And a lot of what we want to work on here, again, is the teamwork. It's that maybe nonverbal communication, or you can even let your partner know. You can say, I got it. And you would have that communication knowing that then they can relax and let go that you have control of that. The next exercise that we're going to do is called the bag cheer. And we call it the cheer because similar to cheerleaders who move their arms kind of all around their body, we're gonna do that, but we're gonna do it with the sandbag. So in this case, we have a four pound sandbag. These are the ones we really like to use here. Um, they're nice and grippy. And this is gonna be an exercise that you can do with two hands. You could do this with one hand, but Nick's gonna do this with two for the demonstration. So Nick, go ahead in whichever direction. Remember, we have four directions that we wanna aim for. So one of them is to the side, one of them is in front, one of them is gonna then be where? To the other side, and then where are we going? Up overhead. So those are our four positions. So what we can do with this is we can do this for time, or we could do this and just kind of getting a gauge, measuring how far Nick's able to reach in each direction. So Nick, keep going through the movements. I'm gonna be talking about it. So there's one, two, three, and four. Go it again, one, two, three and four try to reach to the side one two three and four try to get my hand right over here one there you go two three and four and again one two three and four so he's going side to side out and up and again side to side out and up here we go one more side to side, always going up and over and out. Nice job, again, what's <laughs> neat about the cheer, there's a little bit of a pattern to follow, but you can also, just like Nick did, you can get creative and kind of go with the movements where they feel best for you, reaching over to the side or up and in front in whatever order you choose. Again, this one is kind of looking at, are we able to reach out far away from our body with an object and hold our body steady without our arms falling down, without dropping the bag. Again, that's going to show us a lot of this stability and balance through our body as we're moving and trying to keep ourselves centered and trying to keep the bag under control. All right, the next one that we have, this is a difficult exercise, but it's a lot of fun. This is going to be the baton or the dowel clap and catch. So with this exercise, I'm gonna grab our dowel right over here. We have a, a traditional dowel. So this is our four foot dowel. Again, you can get these for a couple bucks at, at a hardware store. The goal is to get this to balance the object first. So to balance, it's not gonna stay up forever on its own, but we can balance it for a moment before it falls. The goal though is gonna to be to try to balance it, do a clap and then catch it before it hits the ground. Now I'm making this look easy. This is not an easy exercise. Let's go ahead and try this out with Nick. So we're gonna try about 10 of these. And so let's go ahead, Nick, on your own, try to find that balance. Remember, keep your hands close to the down. Oh, and that was a really good attempt. That was really close. Nick, let's go ahead and try it again. So remember, you gotta think about your quickness. You gotta let go, clap. Oh, he almost got that. So there's two. You're doing great with this. Remember, hands are gonna be close together. You're gonna let go, clap, and catch. Nice, that was three. So what we're looking for out of this, again, are we able to balance the dowel, the baton? Are we able to get it to balance? And yes, Nick is getting some good balance out of that baton. Are we able to quickly get in the clap? And Nick's getting in the clap. And then the last part of this is, are we able to get that baton before it hits the ground? Now that's the challenge. And that's what Nick's gonna be working on now that we've done this exercise. We can use this as an assessment. Oh, that was another good one. It was just hanging out there. 
But let me show you if you wanted to do a coach assisted on this. So what I could do is I could set up kind of a zone to where I can try to keep this dowel close in here for Nick. So he's got to go, oh, I thought that. I thought you had it. I thought he had it on that one. But that's something that we can do. As a coach, I want to get a good idea of how well Nick can do this. I can see the difficulty with trying to get the reach back in. And so that's something that I can work on. Look at that. We even knocked out the light right there. That's all right. And uh, let's try one more. This is a great example of the clap and catch. So we balance the dowel, let go, and then try to get it before it hits the ground. If it hits the ground, that's okay. And let me show you something about our dowels here. These have a pool noodle and, uh, yeah. taped on the end. Right. So if it hits the ground, it's not a big deal at all. And that's just another little feature to add some safety in with this. But again, this dowel clap and catch, it's a super fun exercise. You want to make sure you have a little bit of space so you're not knocking lights and things like that. So our next exercise is going to be using the dowel as well. We're going to be doing the one leg balance. So with the one leg balance, again, this is only for an individual who is standing up, who's going to be working on their leg strength and balance. With this, we're going to have the dowel and you can hold on to it with one hand or two hands, but let's try to do it with one hand. And then the goal is to pick up either the inside or the outside leg. You can decide on which one feels the best for you. Our goal is going to be, let's go for 20 seconds with each leg off the ground. So I can count for Nick. He's balancing right there. And let's go for just one leg. So decide, let's go with the, the left leg to start or the right leg. Which one do you like? Left leg, all right. So he's going to be picking up the left leg and trying to keep it in the air using the baton to help him balance. Are you ready? And there you go. Ooh, that was great. That was about four seconds. Let's keep going. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Very good. Let's get a little, let's get to 20 and then we'll switch legs. Here we go. Bringing it up again. 13, 14, 15, Whoa. 16, 17, 18. Two more seconds. 19, 20. Guys, nice. that was an incredible job. And again, you can see Nick, he's working on his balance. He's working, go ahead and switch hands and switch sides. He's working on the relationship with his body, the balance what he's going to use internally and what he's going to be doing using the, the dowel. Let's go. We're going to be picking up that right leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, wow. He got to seven. Here we go again. Bringing it back up. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. He did another seven. Here we go. He's at 14. It's 15. Here we go. Five more seconds. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Nice job. That was excellent. Damn, what a hug. And that is a hard exercise. And that's the kind of exercise challenges that we want to create. When working out with Nick, if we're working on things like balance and stability, having something that is helpful but isn't quite as uh, stable as, say, like putting our hand on the wall or putting our hand on a chair, something that's not going to move, this is what would be considered kind of an unstable support. It's still supportive, but it's a little bit unstable. Okay, our last exercise is going to be all on his own without any support. And this is easy. the high knee kick. So we're going to pick up our knee, and then if we can, we're going to try to kick. If we need to do it in two moves, we can do high knee, and then we can do high kick, or we can do it in one move, high knee, high kick. So there's some options with this one, but let's start out with doing each one independently. So high knee, high kick, and then we'll switch to the other side. High knee, high kick. Now if we needed the dowel to help us with this, we could do that. But for this one, let's go ahead and do just with body weight. So again, we can get an idea. We can get an idea of what we want to type in our notes for Nick's workout. And then we can compare as Nick keeps exercising and getting better and better. We can go back to this day and compare, well, how well did we do? How well did we do on the balance? How well did we do on all of these exercises? So let's go ahead and get ready. Nick's going to be doing the high knee kick. And are you ready? 15. Let's do, let's do five and five. Let's go for 10. 
The oh, 10 yeah. total, so five and five. Uh, and then whenever you're ready, here we go. In three, two, one. So high knee and high kick. That was good. High knee and a high kick. There's two. High knee, high kick. Three. Wow, that was great. High knee, high kick. Four. There you go. You're doing great. Keep feeling it. Feel the stability. Feel how strong you are. There we go. Five. High knee, high kick. Six, high knee, woo, high kick. Seven, high knee, high kick. Eight, high knee, high kick. Nine, and last one, a high knee and a high kick. Wow, that was terrific. That was a really good job. There were one now to bet high knee. That was one of the best. And that's what we want to do. We want to create that feeling. We want to create that connection with our body. And for Nick, we want to create that motivation of doing more of this, having it feel good, being able to make progress, uh, and again, going back and seeing kind of where we started off from and where we are going to. So this is activity unit two. Remember, you can substitute out different exercises from the app. If you're in a seated position or visually impaired, you might choose a different exercise than what we did here, and that's okay. There's hundreds of exercises you can choose from that are all gonna have that stabilization and balance kind of requirement. So try out those. This exercise was a six exercise uh, kind of combo here, and they're all stabilization and balanced focus for you to try out and get ready for activity unit three, which I believe is cardiovascular training, will be coming up next. So, Wait, great job one? next week.